Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And we're going to talk about comics in this episode. This is episode 58, and we're going to talk about the new comics coming out this week that have Venom in them or the Alien Symbiote. Um, and the first one we're going to talk about is Spider-Gwen. Uh, this is a book I've picked up every issue. I have every issue of it now. I was missing like four or five. Luckily, House of Secrets had them, so I was able to pick those up for really cheap over there. And uh, and the storyline that they're doing right now is called Gwenum. It's basically after a tragic thing happened with her father, she comes across the alien symbiote in her universe. And the symbiote latches onto her, and now she's running around, you know, having... Um, these really intense situations where she's starting to lose it and she's given in more to the suit than maybe someone like Peter Parker did uh, when he first had it and she's kind of aware of things are not going her way but uh, but she still you know needs it as an outlet and maybe even as an excuse in case she goes too far maybe she secretly wants to go far in cer certain situations and so she's kind of struggling with that and uh, it's pretty neat to see um, it's not as in depth of maybe I'm painting the painting it as, uh, but it's still pretty interesting. I mean, I, I'm that's what I'm, my takeaway of the story is is that she's there's a part of her that's kind of like oh, I'm I'm kind of liking this, but I know it's not right. Um, and will people forgive me that I'm keeping this suit on to uh, to do these things uh, to maybe cross a line and stuff? And she's taking the fight to all of her enemies with this suit, and I think she's going to be going up against Matt Murdock. Uh, with it soon uh, based off the cover and stuff you see matt murdoch on uh, the alternate cover so yeah if you're not reading spider gwen but you want to jump in uh, gwenum is a really neat storyline and uh, after the story arc we just had with her and uh, the wolverine of her universe now she's you know gonna venom out and stuff so it's pretty cool and i think they're nearing the end of the storyline so the trade might even come out soon for those of you who want to wait for the trade paperback also this week there's two graphic novels coming out and the poster so we talked about the poster before called the web of venom and this is a poster you can pick up. I, I don't know if they're free or if they're like $5.99. I can't remember. So I've heard, you know, conflicting reports on it. Uh, but it's a giant poster that features uh, artwork about all the storylines that have happened so far um, in the Venom books ever since Venom number one came out. And then once it turned over after issue six, it became issue 150 because they went back and looked at all the Venom comics that have ever come out with the name Venom on them. And they realized there was 149 of them and they're like okay we're going to renumber the series for the marvel legacy stuff that they're doing up to 150 which i'm kind of against that with venom to be honest with you because venom was never an ongoing series like, there was like the daniel way run that went 18 issues uh, and it was just called venom uh, and then there was like the 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 venom run that was uh, flash thompson agent venom then there was venom space knight those kind of were ongoing but they ran like 18 to 20 to 30 issues some of them uh, some of them only like 12 issues, but then in the 90s, if you're going to count all those, it's like those were mini series. They, those were Venom the Mace, Volume One, uh, Venom the the you know the Enemy Within, Volume One. Uh, they weren't Venom a uh, Tooth and Claw, Volume One. They weren't Venom, and then ongoing. So they're all different volumes. So to count that is like, I feel like, eh, whatever. I, I don't, I wouldn't have done it, but whatever. I don't work at Marvel. Uh, but they are releasing two graphic novels this week for Venom uh, outside that poster. And that poster will just tell you kind of the history of what's been going on lately and what books to buy that'll lead up into the event that's going to happen in May. And then they have the Venomized poster uh, as a reveal on there. So that was what was the question mark before was the Venomized thing, which happens in April. But even that is leading us into May. So we still don't even know what the May event is yet. And we probably won't for at least another month. Um, and then uh, also we have uh, on the flip side of the poster is like another image that they put up there. Again, telling you what you could pick up and stuff. So you could pick up the poster. I think there's even some, you know, when you buy comic books, there's like the, the card stock that goes in the back, the cardboard that goes behind the plastic. Uh, to keep your book straight. I think they even made Venom ones of those. I can't remember. I've, I've seen some reports of that, but I haven't seen any pictures of them, so I won't have any posted up here. But I thought that was neat. So I'm going to try to pick a couple of those up. And if I can give some away on this show, I will. I, I even offered Golden Apple that I'll pay extra if they order an extra bundle of them, um, and I'll, I'll pay for it. Uh, and maybe I can give some out to you guys. So we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about a, a physical giveaway at some point um, for sure. But for now, I'll keep giving out the digital code. So I'll give out the Gwenham comic um, in like tomorrow, or, you know, tomorrow, the next day's episode for sure. Uh, but the two trade paperbacks that are coming out, a lot of you guys are going to get excited for this. The first one is the... Um, Blood in the Water, uh, which was called Lethal Protector, which I remember I told you guys I didn't like that they did that. It was Venom issue 154, I think, up to 158. And it's like the stuff leading into Venom, Inc., and it's it's Venom versus Craven, the hunter. 
and uh, and it kind of deals with those dinosaur people and stuff. And it's a pretty good story, actually. I really dug it. I love Craven the Hunter. He's my favorite Spider-Man villain. So to see him fight Venom was really, really cool. And Mark Bagley back on the artwork was great. So this trade paperback comes out, but they're calling it Lethal Protector slash Blood in the Water. And I again, I'm just like, oh, I wish they would have just made up their mind and called the story Blood in the Water. That, to me, made the most sense. It's like Blood in the Water is referencing sharks when they hunt. And, you know, if you're bleeding in the water, they circle around. They cir and that's what Craven does to Venom in the story. He's kind of like strikes him, injures him, and he's like, you know, moving around, circling him in. And I like that. I think that would have been a great title. So I don't know why they did that, because they're also releasing it the same week Lethal Protector is being re-released. So everyone out there who's been wanting to read the book that the movie will be based off of, it comes out this week. Venom Lethal Protector in a new printing with a, a cover we've seen before, just, you know, different coloring and stuff on it. Um, but yeah, there's the image there. It's going to have Venom uh, Lethal Protector 1 through 6 in it. And this will tell you about the Life Foundation, the five other symbiotes like, you know, Scream and Phage and, and Riot and all those characters. Uh, some of them who might show up in the movie. Roland Treese, who we heard uh, rumored that, uh, that uh, Scott Hayes is going to be playing. Uh, Carlton Drake, who Riz Ahmed's playing. Uh, and then Venom, of course, and then the Underground Society in San Francisco. And this is the first book of him going back to San Francisco. So if you're out there and you're excited for the movie and you want something to read that the movie will kind of pull ideas from, Lethal Protector is the main book. You want to pick that up. And hopefully this means they will release uh, a Planet of the Symbiotes later this year in a trade paperback. I really hope they do that because I thought there was a little bit more heart in that story than I remember the first time I read it. And you can definitely go back and watch my other episodes where we break down Lethal Protector and we also talk about the Planet of the Symbiotes. So definitely go back and watch those if you haven't seen them yet. And uh, that's it. So it's a pretty good week. Two graphic novels and then a poster and a Gwenum comic book. So enough four things of Venom coming out this week. That's pretty good. Um, more than we've seen in recent history. So like I said, more Venom for me. I don't care. A book could come out every week and I'll be happy. So uh, you guys let me know what you think of this down below. Are you going to pick any of these up? Let me know which ones. And if you have any more questions about them, ask me down below and I will answer. Thank you so much as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll See you in the future. Peace.